Hey guys, Tarek here, bring you a 2v2 today. We are on Drew Scout. Dave Chase pointing on the left, gunning Lalak with Soviets. Make a nice support. Industry and counterattack. See Blanco with the British forces, who has Len Lease Assault locked in immediately. Pioneers. On the right, we have Heartless Jaeger with Othair, Lightning War, Storm, and Assault Support. Go for a. Uh, Double MG build looks like. And finally, Von Manteufel playing as OKW immediately going for Elite Armor. Would also go for an unusual build with a double Stern Pyro start. There's the rankings here. I got, the, got them pulled up. Um, Hardening Lelic around 40. C Blanco 16. Von Manteufel. And uh, Heartless Jaeger at range team 60. So it seems like a relatively uh, even matchup. Looks like C. Blanco going with the uh, kind of build that Twisted Tootsie kind of pioneered the early mortar to cap since you can construct it immediately or we'll call it in immediately. And then into uh, two assault sections. I did try this personally. Uh, not my favorite start with this, but it is pretty effective. Might be better in uh, team games as well. The early mortar, especially uh, Heartless Jaeger going for a double MG start, though that is on the other side of the map. The assault section is also very strong against the Kuwagon just forward. because they spit out so much damage. So that's going to have to be uh, cautious stuff and to avoid getting suppressed there. But Stern Pyres have better long range than the Assault Section, so the Assault Section is kind of getting bullied at the moment. A couple of squads trying to weasel their way around the side of these machine guns. But getting uh, suppressed down here and then the conscripts getting uh, outnumbered against these Pioneers. I do get forced away, but so do the conscripts. Ooh! That was a close call. Great time for that mortar shell to land. Otherwise, maybe the Sturmpires could have stuck around for the wipe. Oh man. Troops are flooding in from all angles. Oh, the Kubel does survive, though. Comes to 2 2 1 again. This is typically not that good against the assault sections, though, since they can do so much damage to it. We lose that squad always. He ended up going for three assault sections, which is a departure from Twisted Tusi, who usually ticked up and went for a assault officer at this stage, and then, you know, tried to use the assault officer's heroic charge to sprint these guys around the map. The platoon command post is finished and ready for use. But I uh, pushed all the way up to here with the uh, mortar, doing some capping. Some Panzer Grenadiers now for Heartless Jaeger. Oh, look at how much damage that's taking on the rear armor from this assault section. This is exactly what I was talking about. It gives up the chase. It's starting to drop quite low. Now into medics for C. Blanco. Looks like that's going to uh, maybe slow down his reinforcement a little bit though. But necessary. Look at how low all these models are. So it's uh, worth the investment at this stage. And it looks like one man Teufel did end up going for a couple folk screen ideas as well. After the uh, double stern pyre start, those are some big bursts. Lucky those pyres escaped. Actually, I think gardening Lelic should have chased in there. MG setting up. Here comes the two 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 though. Pretty good timing on this, as can happen with these double pyre double MG starts. But uh, early anti tank grenades from gardening Lelic. Wasn't expecting that. Slow down that 222. Just trying to get around the corner and get this snare off on the 221 as well. C. 
obviously Blanco is still ages away in terms of command points from that quad. So might be considering a C at this stage. It's not ticked for it though. That's one of the issues, you know, oftentimes it feels like this is about half a command point late for most matches. Oh, but this is big trouble for these Panzer Indies. Three fully upgraded assault sections chasing them down on retreat. Enemy threatening again. 221 trying to come in for a push, but it's too late. Now the 221 could even die. Look at that firepower! The assault sections. Oof. And there, yeah, you. <laughs> Good time for Von Man Teufel to retreat there. Really need the 223 upgrade with the extra armor. Which I uh, had not managed to get down. But, you know, the low armor on the 221 is what keeps it balanced. If you couldn't force it away with small arms, it would just be completely broken. I think, I think the 221 is like pretty well uh, calibrated actually, like in terms of armor values and firepower. So, okay, second 222 for Heartless Jaeger. And the double MGs causing these combat engineers some issues. Uh, it leaves this from Gardening Lelic and gets a great shot off there straight away on the 222. Sturmpies charging in. Conscripts doing their best, but it's not that good at the moment. So he's out a phosphorus nade there. Second 222 coming up here, but what is that Kugel doing for Von Man Teufel? Just drives into its death, and then the 222 drives into the smoke, so it's not firing. Sturmpies dead in the center as well. Looks like maybe a Molotov. Or maybe it's a Zisparage. Not sure either way they are down. And now see Blanco's finally got to three command points. Instantly calls in the M5. Don't think he's quite got enough munis for the uh, quad upgrade though. That's sometimes an issue. Sometimes you have to hold back one of your assault section uh, upgrades. To make sure you have enough. Okay, he's driving forwards and he, he has enough now. You know, but look at that. 42 munis at the moment for the allies had very strong territory control to this point. And uh, no AT gun yet for Heartless Jaeger. Man Teufel also, uh, no Raketen. So this uh, quad could be quite strong. The double 222s can do a ride against it, but you know, if they're both in the same spot. So far we have seen Heartless Jaeger kind of splitting them up a bit though. Strong Sisbrage, but the MG does retreat. The two twos are operating in the same area, but there's this is right there. Ooh, does connect, but the Pyos available for the repairs. So a very strong start for the Allies, but as often the case with these assault sections, they are very powerful in the early stages. But this is when they can start to fall off a bit. Second squad of Panzer Grandiers for Heartless Jaeger. Hasn't locked into his commander yet. Oftentimes with these you go for like Storm to get the Jaeger command squad. Just to have one Faustin unit available. And of course the camouflage very strong on your machine guns. So here comes the quad. 2-2 two, two, having to back out of there. He's got a machine gun a little bit further away. 2-2. Two, two, two. Threatening. Good phosphorus. These guys are trying to crawl out to safety. The Stu Empires are there keeping them suppressed, but the quad switching the angles. An AT gun for C Blanco right in the center. Another unit in a small area, and here comes the Zisparage to punish. Gardening Lalek with a lot of resources needs to start taking up. He's only got that one combat engineer though, which is a bit of a bottleneck. MG repositioning. We are losing the sector. Okay, to suppress the conscripts, they don't manage to get an AT nade off the 
And Tigum pushing up, but maybe under too much pressure here, actually dying really fast out in the open to that MG34. So that was a big mistake from C. Blanco. He's popped the incendiary rounds trying to kill this off now, but uh, didn't look like it did very much damage with that first first bit of uh, work. He's got the Rakesson now, but he's going to lose vision of it. Two up in the north of the stern post, forcing away the section. Here come these squads looking to recover. Oh, but he kills it just before the assault sections get there. Big plays from Von Man Teufel. Rebuild on that now for C. Blanco. Gardening finally getting his tech going. The assault sections. Okay, they're advancing, but we've got the double 222s two two up here now. Hiding behind the smoke quite effectively. There's this is up here as well. Misses its shot though. And uh, a little bit late with that retreat from Von Main Teufel. Could have considered jumping into the building and like running through it or jumping in and jumping out to do the retreat instead of like retreating around this way. Our opponents are seizing the sector. That's why we features these guys got the double smokes the regular smoke and the phosphorus One of the makes them so strong there's the phosphorus and they're on uh, separate cooldowns which is a little bit unusual most other units that have grenades like that are on the same shared cooldown it's one of the things that makes the assault section so strong really uh, in the late later stages some relevant late game. It was like that quad hasn't been up to much for a while, but spots that uh, telemine going down. He's going to complete it though. Don't have any sweepers. Actually, see Blanco putting down a cache out the back here. A fuel cache as well. Do have some pretty strong uh, planes in this commander, so you know, munitions cache worth considering, especially con like looking at how much fuel the act. Our allies have at the moment. Gardening Lalic. Already enough for a T-34, so I feel like maybe a Muni Cash would have been a better choice. We've got some tech coming in now. Cancel. Setting up. Double 22's quick to back away though. Yeah, once that medium tank arrives, it's going to be tough for Heartless Jaeger again. Has a pack in the build now. Did go for a third Panzer Grenadier. I have to upgrade one of these with Shreks as much as you don't like to. Oh, there we go. See, Blanco gets the AT gun out of position again. And the MG decrewing it, but this time covered by the smoke. The kitten unable to finish the job. And here come the assault sections. Get some phosphorus down. Get some smoke. Following up. And two kills for that bridge more so far, but it is up to Vet 2. Now some second squad overs for Von Man Teufel. Looking at the Axis build though, they are, you know, they got one sneering squad between both of them. <laughs> uh, some, uh, in a tricky spot against these mediums and not really going to be able to stop them from diving past the anti-tank guns. That's why I suggested maybe one squad has to be upgraded with Shreks and so can the uh, Sturm Pioneers. But the uh, Axis is a little bit lower munis. Haven't had the best territory control in the last few minutes. And could be about to get a bit worse with the T-34 arriving. Rolling up. MG quickly decrewed. Double 222's trying to remain in a relevant position against the assault sections and do eventually force them away. P Greens though. Maybe could have won this without the T34 getting involved. 
throws a grenade though, at least forces the retreat and maybe allows this pyro to complete the capture down here without getting harassed. But he actually come a couple more conscripts. Egrin's pushing through the center. Definitely been a very tough match. And uh, gets too late to the MG. Unable to recover it. Very painful. Nice steal for Gunning Lalak, who's locked into counter attack. Maybe considering a B4 next. Kitten for Von Main Teufel did get decrewed. Oh no. Oh. This could be trouble. Good burst from incendiary rounds to 222 and hot pursuit. The rear armor is exposed for the quad. Oh, he's not quite fast enough to get away, even popping that speed boost. Well done. Oh, but Pyo's dead for Heartless Jaeger. So he's, he gets a good win over here, but... Uh-oh. Luckily, that six-pounder misses its first shot. Oh, that's very lucky because that would have died otherwise. Recon plane up, maybe providing some vision of that. Or maybe not, actually. Could have been shooting at the plane, I suppose, revealing itself. But yeah, it was a good time to uh, knock out the quad. Though I suppose at the moment, I mean, you could be going for the uh, strafing run. No planes for the Axis currently, though. Telemine did get swept up at some stage. I think once the quad started shooting at it, it probably should have been cancelled. You know, these, these kind of players are not the type to just forget about that. And yeah, power building the B4. It's ready for gardening Lelic now. Could even put down a second one just about. He's got so many resources. See Blanco just so late getting the tech going. 250 fuel as I was saying. Has gone for hammer. But yeah, doesn't have the manpower for the comet quite yet. But yeah, I think that fuel cache was a bad choice. Should have been a muni cache. We've got a recon plane up in the air. Still got the double 222s and they're decent against planes. Respectable, not incredible. There's out some smoke, just regular smoke. The B4 coming down. A little bit of damage on the MG. Both is charging through the smoke. No dodge from that machine gun. I'm going to for microing these overs hard. Ooh! Big bundle grenade. You can see C Blanco did start the retreat, but it was just a touch too late. Treated with this squad, so now the double overs able to claim the north. Oh, but uh, Pansgreen did dead for Heartless Jaeger down here. Looks like it's MG got very low as well. 234 up to 8 kills now. Panzer 4 in the build for Von Main Teufel and a flak Panzer for Heartless Jaeger. We are losing a sector. Mm. Comets, meanwhile. I, I feel like a Black Panzer. Maybe they want to be able to shoot down these recon planes. But it's just uh, it's a... It's a big risk. You've got like no snares. One small mistake with these AT guns and you can just lose the game on the spot to a Comet dive. So risky when playing with no snares like this. Did lock into Lightning War though. You don't see this commander too often anymore. It used to be an absolute powerhouse. Far the most popular commander, but pulling out of favor a little bit. Still, the uh, close air support is a powerful option, and maybe now that the quad has been killed, Siega hoping to get one good activation of it through. He's actually popped a tactical movement here and get a bit of a push going, but oh. Black Panzer's is just diving in. The T-34 is there, but it's on one shot, so doesn't want to commit too deep. And the Comet's in the north. Section's chasing in for a Stirmpire wipe. And they get it as well. 
Double Rakitin's lining up on the Comet. Oh, there's a double Sturmpo wave, and now the B4 targeting the Double Rakitin's. They have to retreat, so the Panzer IV doesn't have enough support, but did at least get the Comet quite low there. But double Sturmpo losses for one man Teufel, that is very painful. Oh, splits the damage, so no kill on the 2-2-2. He's pushing in here, maybe considering a kill on the B4 even. Just for his barrage. Chasing around the corner, the 222 does fall to the 6 pounder, but now that can maybe get finished off. And the Penguins are up here, one of them gets suppressed briefly. Looking for a wipe in return, he's thrown out a grenade on the B4. Not quite enough for the D crew though. There it goes. Probably not worth the munitions though, just to decrew and do a tiny bit of damage like that. Okay, shot from the Zis, but the Panzer IV coming in from the other side. It's just up to Vet 2, it's got that good rate of fire now. Oof, big damage from that Phosphorus nade. You see that, <laughs> a bit of a stutter step there as they run in and out of the Phosphorus. Good coming back in from the side with one man Teufel pressuring this. The T gun gets very low. But yeah, indeed, a second B4 in construction now for Gunning Lalak. In fact, it's completed. Already fired somewhere. But the Axis, you know, they've been up against it this entire match. Very poor territory control, but only about a, less than 100 points behind. They've done well. Stug now. And the Flak Pans has shown its strength there. Knocking out the recon plane very quickly. And will be very handy. Ooh, but the B4 has already found their mark. He's dodging forwards with the Flak Panzer. Packs in some trouble. Stug is arriving. This could be a bit of a move now for Heartless Jaeger. The Pack's lining up a shot. Gets one in. Pegrin's running through the area. Black Panzer doing some risky maneuvering. Oh, but the T-34 got greedy. Tried to come back in and it goes down. Steals away the uh, pack, but the Stug is there. Doesn't have the machine gun upgrade on it. He's upgrading it now, but might be a bit too late. Doesn't have munis for a tactical movement, but the Pegrin's trying to stop this pack steal. So is the Stug, but here comes an SU-85 now. Big old bundle grenades. A little bit short, but the 222's there. The Stug facing the wrong direction. The Pegrin's do stop the steal, but it's so close to the Soviet base. 222 diving in. The Pegrin's going to jump back on the weapon, look for the steal. The Zis is there, might be able to barrage it. 222 doing well. He's lining up the pack on the issue. The Zis finishes the job. The pack. Oh. Now focused by all those conscripts. Gets decrewed again. Yeah, it was a bit of a throw with the Stug there, I think. Overstaying his welcome. Can't just see trying to make a move when he just didn't really have the tools to make it work. Did decrew the machine gun, but it looks like that got recruited and covered. But the VP's close to even again. The Axis did set up a triple cap while all this was going down. Looks like Von Bain Teufel doing all right. In spite of being up against comets, he at least has, you know, the heat shells. Does help out against the comets. Makes the Panzer IV's a touch more formidable. He's gone for a second one as well. Also went for the uh, commander instead of machine guns. Okay, well, here come the planes. Alice Jaeger does have that flak panzer right here, though. It should shoot them down relatively quickly, but looks like a retreat on the Rakesans. I see Blanco surging forwards with the double comets. Looking to capitalize here. Panzer 4 hits Vet. He's popped the heat shells as well. Anti tank plane targeting the flak panzer. 
Japan's are taking a while to shoot these down, actually. Back base enabled as well. And here comes the SU-85. The pack's there, though. Big bundle grenade, but could cost the P green its life. Not both the planes are shot down now. And the Axis hit managed to hang in there. Six pounder decrewed as well. Axis rolling up here. I'm sure Heartless Jagger probably wants to steal the six pounder after he turned over that pack, but looks like they're just going to kill it off here. And there we go. Comet takes a main gun crit. The P Greens get away. Panzer Falls rolling up. Oh, late retreat on this section. The double overs right there, but so is the B4. Rakesson decrews. The Shreddy 5's here as well, though. And somehow that section surviving. Double AT guns rolling up for Gardening Lelic, but we've got the double overs there. This could be a complete turnaround, might be an overextension. <clears throat> Who's chasing down the AT guns? The pack tries to set up, but vision blocked for a while. One Panzer IV goes down, but so does the pack. Oh my god, but these Panzer IVs bouncing on the SU 85. Black Panzer rolling up now. The second AT gun in some major trouble for Gardening Lalek. We've got the pack rolling up for Heartless Jaeger as well. So double AT guns decrewed, but can they be destroyed? The Flak Panzer's there. The Comet's there as well. Here comes the Rakesson. The pack for Heartless Jaeger needed to set up here. And he recovers the second Rakesson. Black Panzer doing all right. One AT gun recovered by C. Blanco, but one stolen by Heartless Jaeger. So, uh, good pushback by the Axis. Conscript's trying to stop the steal, and they do manage to get the D crew off, and there's the B4 as well, so maybe now Gardening Lalek can recover this. this real tug of war over these team weapons. Black Bands are coming in. Let's soften up these Conscripts. Is that like friendly fire from his own mine? Conscript's gonna hurrah forward, threaten the AT nade. Ultimately, they want to recover the AT gun, but they have to give up. Didn't want to lose the squad or lose any more manpower than he needed to. So the Pegrins jump back on it. That's expensive, but. Axis do manage to hold on there. How are we doing on these B4s? Four kills. This one did decrude at some stage, but it's still at zero. Definitely not as reliable as Katusha's. KV1 now for Gardening Lalek, though. Should do pretty well against uh, these heat shelled uh, B4s. The extra armor going to come in handy. Blank got pretty close to another dose of planes. So imagine once the uh, comets are healthy again, he's going to make another move. The tactical air force is and uh, no escape for that 2 2 2. Nice maneuvering by the SU 85. Some sections charging ahead, but both players losing quite a lot of manpower in these moves. The Panzer IV wants to get the wipe. Not quite able to get the job done though. And here come the planes from C. Blanco. Here go the Rakesans from the one main Teufel. Oh, big damage on the Panzer IV from the AT plane. The B4's up here as well. The Comet with the war speed chasing him down, but not quite fast enough that Panzer IV's got the Blitz. The Panzer's coming around, trying to shoot down these planes. The second Comet getting involved, but a little bit slower getting up there. Decruise the mortar and gonna go for the steel on that. Crazy stuff. The MG does go down to the double comets though. Double AT guns having trouble actually getting any damage done. Still only one Flak Panzer as the arm of Heartless Jaeger. Maybe he's trying to save for the Tiger. He, he, he's ticked up to the uh, battle phase three, but he's decided to build a Stug in the meantime. Pretty close to the Tiger, though. B4 
Let's slam and throw some damage. Oh, this could be nasty. One more shell coming in here. Whoever shoots the mark, luckily, uh, Von Van Teufel, a little bit slow on the retreat there. If it was earlier, would have retreated right into that. Five kills now for this one. But yeah, the B4s, they're scary, but they're not that impactful at this stage. Killed by the double overs. And now they're getting chased down by the double comets. The P4 coming in from the side, but double kittens had retreated, so the P4 got to stay on its guard. Ouch. Bios. much with that B4. Before having to get out of there. Oh, and uh, this could be trouble. We're kittens. Not really in a good position here. And the fire from the assault sections. One of them could get decrewed. That's force coming back in. And one of them indeed does get decrewed. That's for quite low in health. Pretty close to the base, but maybe the comet could actually come through and polish it off. Oh boy, and there's the Stug that's in some big trouble. A T gun not in position to assist here. That's Jaeger losing another Stug. A T gun's rotating down now. The second one was back at base healing up, and it looks like the comets are coming down through the center. Bit of a two on one lining up now against Heartless Jaeger. Set up with the comet behind the building. It's back behind the building, but now the pack's actually coming in from the other side. It's popping the target weak point. Stuns this one though. Bit of damage. Quick shoot down on the recon plane again. Now the damage done. In a good position, it's vetted as well. Big damage on the KV and a lot of repairs required now. We've got the planes dropped down by C Blanco up in the north. Black Panzer is still alive though. Before slamming home on the pack. It does force back one man toy for both these planes. Close call for the Pegrins, but they are alive. A lot of repairs coming up. In fact, that's a third comet now from C Blanco. I didn't realize that he's got three. Pack got decrewed as well. That was the Vet 2, maybe even Vet 3 pack. That's a big loss. That high rate of fire is so valuable. And now Von Man Teufel does switch over to the Panther instead of the second Panzer IV. Should do much better against these Comets. So he's going to put down the final tech truck next as well. Did put down uh, the 223 by the way. Rebuilt that at some stage using it to boost the resources. Trading some hits. Oh, the B4, great shot. Recon plane up in the air. No retreat from Von Mein Teufel. He's tunnel visioned on getting the wipe. It could cost him both his Rakitans. One more B4 shell about to come down. Okay, they got away fast enough at least. And the section did die. Still so close, in fact the Axis are hit on victory points at this stage. You wouldn't think it by uh, how the game's been going. See Blanco, I think at this stage needs to maybe consider going for Bolster. To try to get the extra man on these uh, engineers. And pop cap efficiency for the repairs. 
Making some moves here, making some trades. Panther's got those heat shells though. Here's uh, a bit of a bottle net for Z Blanco at the moment. Unless Jaeger just about there for that Tiger. 100 manpower off now. T34 for Gardening Lel. It's going to round out his composition. He's got another one queued up as well, so if he loses anything, or any vehicle. Just be instantly back on the field. But this could be good, you know. The Axis do have a lot of anti tank guns. So uh, the Allies are very heavily invested into tanks. Could cause them some issues. So Steve Blanco's going to try to squeeze out another anti tank gun. Round out his composition. I was thinking, you know, bolster, get these guys up, maybe put some piets on them. To help against the panther, but this is another option. Ooh, a bit sloppy there from C. Blanco, lost his assault section. And uh, Heartless Jaeger getting out of there with the P greens. Looks like this time, Von Man Teufel not so lucky. Kissing D crew, but still alive, the weapon. Another. Stern Pie for Von Man Teufel. Oh, I don't see that happen too often. Cave One's armor holding up nicely. T34 wrapping around the south. Axis is still in control of the VPs. The Allies now have got to be feeling a little bit desperate. See, Blanco doesn't quite have enough munis for another dose of planes. He's making some moves with the Comets, though. Looking for the Panther 4 kill. Oh, guess the Panther. What was that doing so far forwards? The SU-85 assisting. And the Comets are going to disengage here. feel that the Panther is reward enough. But now the double anti tank guns of C. Blanco out of position. He has to come back in with these Comets. And, ooh, what a quick kill on that Rakitin. Triple Comets and the B4 coming down now as well. Ogres continuing their charge forwards. Oh, the Comet abandoned. But there goes both the Rakitans of Von Man Teufel. The Tigers coming up to the north. Looking to settle the score, but now that's exposed. It's rear armor accidentally. Uh oh. This is not looking good. Ready five and hot pursuit of the tiger. The planes coming down. The comets swooping in. Oh, heartless Jaeger! What a misplay with the tiger. That goes down. That's a four though. He gets some revenge. The heat shells and the high vet. Really good rate of fire and penetration. The S ready fives there, but here comes another comet. Misses his first shot though at that range. So is the S ready five. This is a bit of good fortune for Von Man Teufel. Pack meanwhile getting D crew getting stolen. Looks like a big move from the Allies and uh, came out of it quite nicely, but uh oh oh the plane crash. In the old days that probably would have been a dear comet. Panzer 4 man, that's a monster at Vet 5 now. It's got a bit of scatter, I believe, a bit of moving accuracy. And uh, look at this. I think uh, Von Man Teufel very aware. He's going to use the emergency repairs up here to get the Panzer IV healthy again. He's going for the instant recrew on this. Does this get emergency repairs as well? Can't see it in the uh, bar down here. Trying to get away with these uh, anti tank guns again. Triple cap against the allies though, they have drained out the access from quite a few points. Look at that, that emergency appears, the Panzer is back in here very quickly. Can't try to limp away. 
I am surprised he didn't leave that three man Stern Pyre up there to try to do some more repairs. And the Comet's just slowly wheeling his way out of there. has other ideas. Very quick shoot down on that recon plane, didn't provide any vision at all. It's a nice move from Heartless Yagi, you know, packed up so he could re retreat as soon as he had uh, got the decapture off. Uh oh, double comets. Looking for the kill. On the Panzer IV, this thing has been an absolute hero, but it's time maybe coming to an end, but the comet's missing a couple crucial hits here. And now this lead Comet, by Vets, bounces a crucial shot. Oh, but then misses and then bounces, and then the flat base defenses able to polish off the Comet. The second Comet disengaged from the chase. Oh, absolute heartbreaker there for C. Blanco. So many misses and bounces. And the Panzer IV hero survives, lives to fight another day. So the allies are dominating at the moment. Huge territory control, looking to set up the triple cap once again. Should send that pack in probably to cap. It's going to do now, maybe it's a little bit late though, at this stage. Trip dead though, that flak pan's up to vet 3, 27 kills. How many of those are planes? 10. <laughs> Come playing up again, and uh, uh oh, T34 is making a move. The flat pans are really fast though, with all that vet. Speeds away to safety with the blitz. And there we go, Comet? What? See, Blanco? What was he doing? Oh no, he, he was driving around with this low health Comet and it just died. Oh, that, that might have been the throw from C. Blanco right there. Uh oh, and uh, looky look what we got, a fresh Panzer IV from Van Teufel now. He's got that Comet back up to full strength. Oh, <laughs> all of a sudden, allies are in some big trouble here. Do you have this AT gun decrewed out the back? I don't know if C. Blanco's remembered it. Because he, he didn't run to collect it with these engineers. And the double over is very hard to stop in this situation. Very highly vetted, and they are lining up some damage. Comet does take engine crits, good phosphorus, but the Panzer IV getting a big hit. Here comes the SU-85, though. Smoke might be blocking some vision. SU-85 spins around for the Panzer IVs, and uh, gets some snares off on those as well. The T-34 and the KV doing some work. Got the B-4 up in the north, but it's. A bit shallow with its targeting. Panzer IV though could be in some trouble. The SU-85 decides not to chase. The pack is there. Oh, these B4s doing 15 kills and four. That got a little bit better, but still not that impressive. The Panzer IV coming through to kill off the deep root weapon, and there it goes. Close game still. The Axis do have a slight army lead, mainly because of C. Blanco's low pop cap, but if he remembers about this, which he might do now with the Comet driving past it, he can, you know, just about equalize things, and Gardening Lalek can afford to take some very bad trades. He's got so many resources in reserve here. He and just completely dive. Speaking of dives, most cool on this mine. I'm gonna go for the B4 kill perhaps now. Ray 5 backed off a little bit too far, he's dropping down some artillery. This is going to take out the B4. The AT gun recovered, the Panzer IV hero. Oh, he's fast enough. 
Hey, T-Gun didn't get another shot off and then the Comet of uh, Stimplanko getting away. He's ready five from the side. And the four could be in some trouble here. Comet needs to stay in for C Blanco. He's dropping down the plane, C Blanco. Trying to save the day, but the AT gun quickly decrewed by the Overs. B Force slamming home the damage as well. Planes don't do too much. Full retreat from the Axis infantry. For a bit of friendly fire. Comet's chasing in, looking for the overwipe. Can't quite get it though. Assault sections. Oh, they come out of suppression, but they get suppressed again. They could probably have decrewed this pack otherwise. If uh, Gardening Lark had cancelled, they might be able to get it anyway. Good pass from the plane. And the pack gets decrewed. It's going to go back in for the capture. T34 down here. Doesn't have a secure mode. But he's got some uh, squads rolling up now, but the capping war is on. Able to cap in the north with the assault section. I believe they do have that capture rate bonus. So a good capping squad. And the flak pans are a little bit slow to shoot down the planes. They come through for one last big pass. 234 dodging around the side of this. And wow, what a late last shot before it had to disengage. And then Toyful rolling through. Not fully repaired on that comet, but it's a bit low on munis to uh, maybe pop some more emergency repairs. Conscripts capping in the center. They're capping down the bottom now as well. He's just got T-34 and conscripts queued up. Whatever he gets <laughs> pop cap to uh, field is going to pop out immediately for Gardening Lalek. He's burning through that reserve. But here we go, see Blanco in some trouble. So is the ESU T-34 circling around. The double Panzer IV is making some big plays, but the Comet coming in now. Oh, but the T-34, I thought he'd go for the Ram. He was at a good angle for a rear guaranteed penetration. The Comet playing it safe here. Those highly vetted Panzer IVs, he has to respect them. He's gone for pure T-34 spam, though I think an SU-85 is more necessary. Because his T-34 is just not that effective. It's the uh, attacks of Von Manteuffel. There's a bit three uh, Pegrins. These are unbeaten conscripts, a real run for their money. But the KV coming in from the side, looking to do some work. The T34 is focused on the VP capture. He's chasing, but he's missing a lot of shots with this KV. Oh, but gets the main gun crit anyway. T34 swooping in. Oh, Heartless Jaeger could be in some big trouble. And uh, the tanks of Von Main Teufel not in position to assist his teammate at all. One P ring goes down. The pack is there. Got a uh, flak half track now for Von Manteuffel. He's doing some big capping. B4. A little bit of damage on these Obers. Here we go. About to be a big armored engagement through the center of the map. KB getting around the side. D cap in the center. Both teams around 50 VPs remaining. Fresh stood though from Heartless Jaeger. Loses his pack. Panzer IVs coming in now though. KV might have trouble escaping this one. The Panzer IVs in hot pursuit. T-34s need to wrap around. Heat Chow's active. And here go the T-34s trying to get onto the rear armor. Oh, but they're, they're in two mines. They don't know whether to attack or to disengage. And they're going to go for the VP instead. But the Panzer IVs with the heat shells just lining up these T-34s. The Stug coming up as well. KV disengaged all the way out the back. And yeah, I think Gardening Lalek had to go in for the dive to try to get around to the rear armor. But the Comet of Omen Teufel goes down to the double Comets now of C. Blanco. But the uh, VPs are ticking away very fast. The Allies need to get on these points immediately. We've got a squad making a dash for the north. But the, the 
Points are draining out so fast. Triple cap here briefly. We've got a squad up there guarding. He throws out smoke, which I think is maybe a bad idea. The squad could have hidden inside there and blocked the capture for quite some time. I was sprinting up, but double comet shut that down. Conscript's trying to go for the capture, but they're unable to. Heartless Jaeger popped the tactical movement to jam the capture. And uh, here he comes with the uh, Pegreens. And they... Oh, they get suppressed. And they don't quite make it into the circle. Oh my god. And there we go. The points are draining now from the Axis. He's popped... Uh, <laughs> The uh, relief infantry, haven't seen that for a long time. Pyres go down. This is all out capping more now. Double comets are still quite healthy. Here come the double Panzer IVs. AT gun and machine gun in the build for C. Blanco. He's got an AT gun. Oh, it's, it's the fresh one. I thought he maybe recovered that one, but it has died. Comets focused on the infantry. Pop off some uh, phosphorus. We've got an SU-85 now, which is exactly what I thought they needed. And that was a huge shot from the B4. And the SU-85 just pumping from the side. Here goes one of these Panzer IVs, but the Comet hanging on by a thread. Oh, the heat shells making all the difference there. Panzer IV, the hero Panzer IV could be about to go down the SU-85 and Comet in hot pursuit, but the SU misses a shot. And so does the Comet. The engineers from the side going for the snare. Oh, the comet misses again. And so does the SU-85. Oh my god, that hero Panzer Force lived to fight another day. Capping more in the center. But it looks like the conscripts have the firepower. The double Stugs can't really do much over here. Trying to cap down here, but that's getting suppressed. SU-85, one shot. The Jagdpanzer maybe doing some work. Smear off on one of these Stugs. The Constructs trying to cap in the center. Oh, the MG maybe can't quite suppress enough. He's sprinting forwards with the tactile movement once again. Oh. The light cover craters there making all the difference, stopping those Conscripts from getting pinned. And the allies are capping in the center. 36 points left for the Axis, though. They've got a bit more breathing room. Vickers from C. Blanco goes down <laughs> almost instantaneously. I mean, you can't do anything against double V5 overs. There's that Jagdpanzer. And that hero Panzer IV is back again with the uh, emergency repairs. So little downtime. The KV's down in the south. Trying to prevent the capture. S-35 getting repaired up. His gunning Lalek has burned through all of his reserves and yeah there we go the allies have to throw in the towel their tanks too low in health they just can't contest the VPs in time with 12 points remaining. Axis come out on top on this one wow that was a that was a hell of a game hell of a game wow that hero Panzer IV that thing just got so lucky so many times like dodges bounces misses so like probably six times this game it could have died with just like one extra shot not missing or bouncing but it survived and uh wow <laughs> crazy game i think gunning like as i said i think he made a mistake continuing to spam like t-34s thinking that they could maybe close out the game but needed to rebuild the easy ready fives t-34 spam as we saw down here just got mopped up I think, well, maybe if he used them more aggressively, trying to flank, trying to ram, but seemed reluctant to ram with any of them to trade, which is uh, maybe ultimately what caused some issues. See, Blanco, I think, did get quite unlucky with the Comets, both, uh, you know, abandon and then Mamba and Teufel able to steal one. And just in general, uh, the penetrations on the Panzer Fours, I think he ran uh, a little bit poorly, but... That's how things go. Good uh, preservation of the Obus, the B4s. Mm, yeah, I, as always, not that good. Or as most of the time, not that good. Probably Katusha's would have been a better option, but that's how it goes. But either way, what, what an epic match this was. Uh, 
really great action right across the battlefield and you know some slightly off meta picks and commanders and whatnot as well so great game well anyway guys wrap on that if you like your game to be cast by me details are in the video description below otherwise i'll catch you off the next thrilling installment goodbye and good luck